grow your beard, grow it long. Never cut your beard because of Babylon, where the people want you to cut and trim your beard, so you fit into the society that's weird. Hello everybody, it's been a while since I've been here on this channel making a video about my beard and I just wanted to give you all an update. Here you can see the, the size of my current beard and uh, it's going really well. You can see uh, I've trimmed recently over here. I'm back to doing that. Uh, much neater look. Uh, I'm on the camera a lot. A much more better look for the camera. But some things has happened since I made my last couple of videos and I keep making the videos. More and more people have beards these days, or more and more men have beards these days. Uh, you know, there's not this homeless idea anymore about people having a bigger beard. And it's becoming uh, quite the common thing to have a beard. And it's just a very short amount of time, and this is my prediction here to us uh, beard brothers, that uh, politicians are going to start having beards uh, very soon. It, because it's becoming so much of the norm, it's becoming the cool thing, and it's becoming the, the common thing. So uh, when politicians start having beards, you know we're back to what we once were, where even presidents had beards. Uh, so uh, we went through this period of uh, manscaping, where so many people were obsessed with shaving, and many people still are. But beards are finally in, and it's working great. As for me and my beard, as I've mentioned in some videos, I finally... Uh, uh, I'm in a relationship with a woman who absolutely loves my beard, no, how, however it is. And she even said she didn't mind me not shaving here. But I decided myself uh, to just trim up there. And the beard's looking uh, really nice. And I almost got it uh, trimmed at, at a barber recently, but I, I, I chickened out and I ran out of the chair. And I just came home and did it myself because I don't want them messing it up. Uh, I, I noticed that uh, the beard doesn't stop growing at a certain point. Uh, it just... It grows slower. I've noticed that. And I've been trimming around my mustache lately as well. That's, that's been not necessarily helping me with society and people, but it has been helping me in general. It just helps me look younger and cleaner. And a uh, clean haircut helps as well. I don't have hair all over the place. And I just want to encourage everybody out there who's growing a beard, who has a beard, whatever you decide to do, whether it's to let it grow and let it flow or to trim it up and have it a little nice, Enjoy it and do it because you want to do it and don't have it because you don't want to have it. Don't let anyone control you and that includes your your spouse or anyone else. I always say the number one reason a man doesn't have a beard is because his spouse doesn't want him to. And that's just uh, uh, not the reason not to have a beard. Uh, so, you know, we want to take in consideration our loved ones and the people that spend the most time around us. Uh, so, you know... Being neat and clean is not wrong with that, but you can still have a long beard. Uh, I have a very long beard, and I, I believe it's neat and clean at this point in my life. And if people don't think, because there are people out there that still don't think so, but I get a lot more negative, less negative responses with like this and, and trimmed here than before when I had my mustache all over the place and, and, and just didn't brush it. Now I comb it all the time as well. There are still the people that just are not beard people. They just don't like beards. As for me, I love it more than ever before, uh, and uh, my significant other loves it. My children love it. My friends are growing beards now, and people on the street are growing beards. It's a, uh, this is a great time for people with beards, and it's going to keep getting better. Another thing I want to mention is you don't have to spend a lot of money on beard products, folks. I mean, coconut oil is wonderful. Uh, you get some... Uh, get some almond oil or Jehovah oil and put some essential oils in it. You can rub that in your beard. That's fine. Make sure you wash your beard maybe once or twice a week. Uh, you know, it's, it's not that uh, expensive to have a beard. It doesn't have to be. One thing I, I don't do, I saw a guy on YouTube doing this and uh, had a really nice beard. It took a lot of time to wax the mustache, which I'm a, I'd be open to wax the mustache, but he was blow drying his beard. Blow drying his beard. I'm, one of the goals of me having a beard, one of them is uh, time. I don't want to take more time with a beard than if I didn't have a beard to shave. So I am not going to blow dry my beard. And I'm not going to say, I mean, his beard looked great. But if you have to blow dry your beard every day, if you're going to win a beard competition, that's one thing. But every day, folks, I'm not a fan of blow dryers. What can I say? <laughs> Uh, whether it's for hair or beards or anything, but if that's for you, for each your own. 
uh, but I'm, I'm feeling good about it. I like it, and uh, and and I find now when I comb it, I guess I'm using the right comb and the right brush. Less hair is coming out, uh, and it, it's just growing. It's 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 a great life. So. Uh, to all you beard brothers out there, thanks for watching. Put your comments, questions below the video. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe and keep growing. Grow your beard, grow it long. Never cut your beard because of Babylon. Where the people want you to cut and trim your beard. So you foot into the society that's weird. Never watch them and don't try to fit them. Because you know that this system is doing well. Grow your beard.